like, what's up, what's up, what's up? So, I told myself last year that I'm going to do more divine, divine masculine readings. Um, I usually don't because divine masculines don't care that they're toxic or don't care this or that. So, they all going to do what y'all want to do. But, I still have the spirit put it on my heart to do it. We need to start doing divine masculine readings. So, I can't talk about y'all not wanting to change and I don't, you know, bring it to your uh, attention. So, I don't know why appearance wanted to come out. Some of you guys could be focused on appearance a lot, and that's causing you to attract the wrong, wrong type of woman. <clears throat> so, that was for some divine masculines. So, yes, let's get into a channel message. Let's get into energy first. Energy for our divine masculines. Energy for our divine masculine. What is the energy of our divine masculine? Okay, some of you guys need to stop and reevaluate the path that you're going on. Um, some of you guys need to um think about an ego death that needs to happen in order for you to be able to flow and illuminate the way you need to or want to. Um, we have the love out. So when it comes to love, you guys have some type of ego that is like I don't know. Like I said, you're the way you dress is attracting the wrong type of woman. Hmm. I feel like if you're dressing all flashy and all of that, you're going to attract a more superficial woman. That's common sense, you know, but sometimes common sense, not common, but that's, you know, if you drive a certain type of car, you're going to attract a certain type of woman. You know, you work a type of job, you're going to attract a certain type of woman. So I feel like you guys should be more so stopping to look and listen and watch and especially at yourself and how people interact with you and what's the basis of their interaction when I started like really seeing the basis of somebody's interaction that's when I started like really seeing like what is it what is it what do you want can we get some of you guys want a family y'all want to like a, a happy family y'all want a family that makes you smile I don't know why fresh print fresh prince of bel-air popped up some of you guys are experienced. Yeah, some of you guys want a fresh Prince of Bel Air type of lifestyle, but you could be just living like the PJs in the project. You know, we have the two of Pentacles here. That okay? So if you guys are dressing flashy, but you really don't have the money to dress flat, like you like spending. It's like it's just like oh my god, spending your rent. Like, during COVID, I saw somebody on Facebook, like, I just spent my rent on these new Jordans because I know that because uh, of COVID relief, this, this, and that. Like, some of you guys got real relaxed during COVID. Like, some of you guys got really relaxed being with somebody that had, like, you being with a person that has kids or something, like, being with a baby mama. Some of you guys, like, even though you want a family, y'all want a whole family, and it's like, y'all stay fooling around with, like, baby mamas that have drama or, like, you guys suspect to still, you know, messing around with the baby daddy. Oh, for some of you guys, that baby is his. It's not yours. She just put, pinned it on you. Like, <laughs> or for some of you guys, if you re resonate with that, because I know it's going to be a lot of people that probably going to end up watching this video, it's like a split thing. For half of y'all, that is his baby, and she did know. For half of y'all, that is she didn't know that wasn't his baby. She didn't know it was like something that happened out of nowhere. She y'all were mad. The situation came up, and she, you know, they did what they did, and she didn't expect it because y'all got back so strong after. Y'all got on so strong after it was like she did it was like she thought it was a chance like i don't know how this i, I know y'all don't want to hear this divine masculine but when she looked at that baby she said in her in her in inside she said this might not be his it might be his and and she just didn't have the heart especially since i was going so strong so like i said that could be for somebody okay we have the king of cups here with the flow interesting you guys are being encouraged to stand in your own energy. Some of you guys just can't be alone. I don't know. It, it may have been a relationship back in the day, uh, Divine Masculine, that was your best friend and your lover. I'm getting lovers and friends. Oh, it's a good look, baby. And it was a good look. And you guys wanted that. It was a good look. Y'all wanted that. You know, people wanted to be y'all. And y'all are, to this day, still trying to find that or search for that. But I think what it was that you missed was you found that perfect person being the perfect you that you knew how to be. 
okay and now with all these flashy clothes you want to look like this you want to look like that you want to stunt like your friend over there your friend got five baby mamas your friend going through your friend always going through something with the girl you he just had his top he didn't have his tires slashed he didn't have his windshield broken he didn't have cars messed up on him he didn't have women do all types of things to him but Divine masculine, you worried about the fact that he get women. He actually got women that want to do that to him. Not focus on the struggling, the amount of struggling he going through. You know, you have to watch who you idolize. And at the end of the day, I don't like that. Y'all are divine masculine. I still believe in, you know, male, you know, female. You know, I still believe in, you know, the woman is definitely supposed to be able to trust her man's opinion and go along with what he has to say because that's who you chose to be your man, period. The man, you're not finna be out here, uh, if push come to shove, you're not finna be out, out here in the elements trying to hunt. Your man is gonna tell you to sit at home, take care of the camp while he go out and hunt. So if we gonna abide by them type of rules, oh, well, the man go get the money, I'm gonna do this. You know, let's 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 do it within, you know, the regular conduct here because i be trying i ain't trying to talk down it y'all but i am trying to let y'all know that whatever path you own that's not the path you know sister mystic respect all the kings but don't be the, don't be a fool because that's that's really what it's giving we have the seven of pentacles yeah some of you guys feel like your your trees are barren y'all don't have y'all not bearing the type of fruit y'all want at all Y'all feel like y'all not coming up on the right type of woman. Every time you feel like it's perfect, it's right, she do something that gives you the ick. And you're like, I can't go on because that was too much of a red flag. Oh, y'all, y'all, some of you guys are heavily thinking about this person in your past. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio that you were truly connected to. But for whatever reason, y'all are in disconnects. Oh, she don't want to talk to you. Divine masculine, divine masculine. Y'all are think y'all are trying to date again. Y'all are trying to, you know, get back out there and y'all still thinking about somebody who has their back turned towards you. I'm gonna tell you like this here, Divine Masculine. That woman has her back turned towards you for a reason. You want her to be like what you want and attract. Like how you're going after these women that like your flashy this and your flashy that. You want her to like that. And she has more sense to know that type of man is not gonna be a, a family man. That type of man is gonna embarrass me. This person gave you the best justice they could possibly give you. But the women that you choose to fool with divine masculine, they're going to really do you in because they don't have, they don't have a problem with being embarrassed. They don't have a problem with embarrassing others. Like I said, your homeboy, that girl was out here slashing tires and busting windows. That's a charge. That's vandalizing somebody's shit. That is a charge. And as a woman, you're willing to catch a charge behind some meat and there's plenty of it out there. Come on now. That's embarrassing. But for both parties, what are y'all? doing that's that what are y'all doing so yeah your person the person that you're missing she don't operate like that baby she moves on the chariot huh i know you don't like that she moves on the person that you're thinking about they this person moves right on on that's cancer twice cancer libra they move on then we have the queen of wands here with the um sag leo um aries oh but it's on the other side yeah the person the sag aries or leo that you're attracted to or that's in your energy this person is very self-absorbed this person is not really worried about you they're only worried about them so if it comes to a point where you're in a hangman situation they're gonna pick them they're gonna say, "Oh, I'm sorry you're in that situation. Oh, I'm I'm sorry that you're in that situation, but what do you expect me to do? I didn't put you there. They're giving me that energy. Like they're not gonna be able to help you the way the other person in the past would have because they actually have a heart and they actually are able to see their intuition. Oh, I'm struggling this this sinus infection. Please excuse my voice and the sniffing. Okay." <clears throat> Yeah, this person, the people, the women that you're attracting currently want to burden you. They want you all. They want they want you away from the home. They want you always working because these are women that are well, ready to cheat on you. Like it's always somebody with a bigger bag, and they're always on the look for that. The women that you're trying to attract, or the women that you are currently attracting, it's always a bigger bag or somebody with a bigger, you know what, better this or that, and that's what they're looking for. Even when they're with you, 
Now, I'm going to flip that coin for you. When you was with this person that you're longing for, you were still searching for something better. This person is no longer, you're not on the roster anymore, you know? And I feel like now you feel the way that person felt, like, oh, I'm not enough. And I guess, I guess the divine masculine, that's your karma. That's the depth in this. That's the stop. You had to stop and think, why am I, why, why are they not treating me white, right? Why are they not, you know, being pure? Because I didn't say white. Why are they not being pure like this person in the past? The person in the past, I know for a fact, without a shadow of doubt, their heart was pure because they met my energy. And you know what I'm saying? So why is it now I'm steady getting beat down in this hangman situation where ain't nothing I'm doing enough for them? You have to understand the blockage in order to flow. You have to understand, you have to be put in the situation you put somebody else in in order to not put nobody else in that situation and receive even more karma. You are receiving karma. These women, these are the, all of them, they're your karma. You guys could have went through a hard situation with them. Some stuff could have happened. They could have got together on you. Somebody could have been messy. And now you, you going through it and you're wondering why during this time me and her were beefing, but it wasn't ever to this capacity. I, I would rather that than this. And it's, it's, it's like, when you were that, I, you're missing your divine feminine masculine. God gave you your divine feminine and you played over her. You played over her. You stepped on her. You called her names. You spat on her. And she said, you know what? I'm going to take me a shower. I'm going to take these clothes off. I'm going to move around. And I'm good on this person. I can't say you're going to get this person back divine masculine because those were some real, it was some real, it was some dirt that you really did to this person. I, I can't, I can't, un, I can't unfeel it. So I really feel the, the coldness that this person is giving you. If this is a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, this person is like, is, is Elsa. It's, it, her heart is cold. She don't even want nobody around her. She happy being by herself versus this of uh, these other people need attention. They need people to fuel them up. They don't care about you're not fueling them. They're gonna come back for you, but they have other people pouring into them. Not only that, they're gonna continue to drain you. I don't know why I got somebody that when you're mad, they're trying to annoy you. That's how the women that the women that you're you're attracting are re very petty. They want a story time to tell. They want they want something to talk about, and they're willing to do that. It's like they're willing to do anything for the clout versus the other person that wanted to be private. So divine masculine, you made the wrong choice. But it it doesn't determine you. It does, it's not the it's not the end. You you do the work. You you're gonna get another divine feminine. Will it be the one in the past? Maybe not. The nine of swords is here. This person still th like you really scarred this person divine masculine. This person still thinks about what you did. And they still think to themselves, I'll never go back to that person. And that's why I say you can't come back. This person was acknowledged that you were her divine masculine. And she also acknowledged the fact that you willingly and you openly chose somebody else and you did other things that you weren't supposed to do or that you were trying to hide from them. So the connection is over. I'm going to just say that. But it's, but it's, the connection is over, but your life isn't divine masculine. You still have the chance to redeem yourself because illumination came out and receive love, okay? This is not the end. It's not the end for you. It's not the end for her. She's going to find another divine masculine. You're going to find you're gonna find another divine feminine. I'm not saying that time can't heal the wounds. All I'm saying is once you destroy trust, it's really hard to build that back up. And especially since, you know, I don't know. I just I just don't feel like it's it's going to be easy bringing this back together. Yeah, nothing that you're going to be at. Yeah. This Six of Pentacles, you guys are a very prosperous person. You're a, you're a man that has a lot of money or you have a lot of profitable ideas that, that keep you with money. You know, you might spend money as you get money, you know. So whatever you're doing, you're always getting money. But for the people that you're attracting with how you are now, it's never going to be enough. And for the one in the past, it don't matter how much money you bring to them, nothing will be able to pay for the fact that you destroyed them emotionally. You destroyed them on purpose. So 
divine masculine you have a lot to think about you have a lot to be you know working on you have a lot to be planning for and i feel like your plans really shouldn't involve money anymore i feel like your plan should should involve you getting to know your wounds you being you getting to know your scars and who you are because you're not going to be able to love anybody with scars okay you're not gonna be able to love now i'm not gonna say scars you're not gonna be able to love anybody with open wounds you're bleeding out they're trying to save you and you can't, you know what I'm saying? You're not trying to save yourself. So the peace will definitely come back when you figure yourself out, when you start living in your purpose and your real truth, not trying to be like nobody else, but figuring out who you want to be and what your life is about. You know what I'm saying? So like, share and subscribe to my masculine.